okay now in this section we'll be discussing on something called slash value now slash value is uh, represents total network bits it's another way of writing your subnet mask information or providing some subnet mask information in a, in any any a documentation kind of things let's take an example in my company i got a network i got a diagram now this diagram is going to represent my company network so i got a router switch something like this so so probably what i'm doing is i'm trying to understand my diagram and to understand your diagram you need to know the ip addressing also because if you want to access any device uh, generally we need to know the ip addressing what ip address is used here what ip is used here so probably whenever you see any documentation diagrams or any scenario diagrams in the examination certificate exams or it can be in your production networks when you see any scenario documentation diagram so probably you will see the diagram how they are connected and also you'll see some ip addresses written over there because it's not easy for anyone to remember the each and every ip address what we are using so normally every documentation diagram will have some ip addresses written so let's take an example the ip address of this device is 192.168.1.100 something so let's assume the ip address of that particular device is 192.168.1.100 and also it is mandatory we need to write the submit mask so let's say if this particular device is given with some ip address but there is no subnet mask information mentioned or written over there so normally what we'll understand we just assume or we just think that it's a c class network so i'm going to assume the default subnet mask of 255 255 255 0 so which means i'll understand that all the users in the lan is using the address range of 0 0.255 0 0.255 range but in case in case due to any reason if i'm not using this subnet mask let's say maybe in my network i'm using 255 255 255 224 other than default and the range of addresses is 0 to 232 because of this one because this range so which means uh, your complete calculation or complete understanding will go down go wrong because because it's it's not mentioned here that the submit mask is 255 255 255 224 if it is not mentioned i'm going to assume as a default submit mask so this is something really not good because when you are defining or representing anything we need to write the submit mask so one way to write the submit mask is we can write 255 255 255 224 like this because you need to tell what is the submit mask we are using based on that only i will understand what is the size of the network what is the range right because if there is no submitting then we can we don't need to mention because anyway there is only one submit mask if there is no submitting but writing the submit mask in this format is more lengthy method. So instead of writing like this, we can write like this, 192.168.1.100. .1 so in the documentations, you'll see this as slash 27. Now what is exactly slash 27? Now the slash 27 represents your total network bits. How many total network bits we have? 27, which means the tally will be 27 and all the remaining will be your host bits which means five host bits 28 29 30 31 32 so normally we count only network bits and we don't count any any host bits okay it's another way of writing your subnet mask information so the documentations you'll see like this it means that 27 represents that there are eight network bits eight network bits eight network bits and there are three network bits so in one portion you will have only eight bits so which means the submit mask is 255, 255, 255. If you add three bits, how much it will be? So if you're going to add three bits, it's going to be 224. So you're going to write the same thing. If you see there is no difference, if you write like this or like this. But in the documentations, you will see more in this format, in the scenario diagrams, in the examinations, when any scenario is given to you, you will be representing uh, subnet mask in this format rather than in this format but when it comes to implementation we write in this format this is way this is how we implement when it comes to computer router any device but in the documentations you will see in this format 
so it's really important for you to understand this conversion method also so it's another way of providing a submit mask information here okay so in the documentation scenario diagrams you will see something like this okay so let's do some exercises on this now it's really important for you to understand the slash value and the submit mask and whenever you see the slash value you should be in a position to convert the equivalent submit mask and whenever you see the submit mask you should know the equivalent slash value this is really important for you when you are trying to answer some of the submitting questions in the examinations or it can be in the interviews that will help you so let's try to do some practice here with some examples i'm going to write some rough values slash 20 slash 22 slash 25 slash 27 slash 28 and slash 30. so i'm going to write some examples here and the remaining i, I expect you to write down okay so I'll, I'll just write some examples here so I'll, I'll write 27 here 27 already wrote so let me write down once again so when you're writing any any number we can write only eight 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 bits in the one portion we cannot write more than eight so because total there are eight bits in one portion so it will be 8 plus 8 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 3, 27. So now again you have to remember this, this values here. If you add 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits and 3 bits, 3 bits is 224. So it will be uh, 255.255.255.224 will be the submit mask. Okay. Now similar way if you are writing slash 22, it will be 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8, 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 6 because I cannot write again 8 because if I write 8 it becomes 24 and here it is just 22 so if you add 8 bits 255 8 bits if you add 255 and if you add 6 bits it will be 252 if you refer this table 6 bits 252 and then 0 now similar way you need to write down remaining so I'll just do one more example last one I'll write 30 so it will be 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 it will be 255, 255, 255, 252. So I'm writing the slash 30. So the remaining values, I want you to just simply answer. I'll, I'll write some more examples for you. So let me write down slash 15. So slash 15, slash 17, and then slash 18, slash 21, and then slash 12, something like that. So just write down the answers for this one. I'm not going to write them. So just write down the conversion. So it will be a good practice, you know, whenever you see the any address in this format, you should be in a position to find out the exact slash value. And then whenever you see the slash value, you should know the equivalent subnet mask. Because when, when we write, uh, when we define in the devices, we define in this format. But when we, when we define in the, in terms of documentation, or in terms of scenario diagrams you will see in this format.